Wow, it's hot. Really, really hot. Um, it wasn't nearly as hot when I first started out. But the clouds have parted and the sun has come out, which is fantastic. Ah, but it's making walking up this hill kind of tricky, or trickier. So we're on Canoe Hill in Perth. Well, I'm just above Perth. And uh, just nice to get away from work this afternoon and uh, get out with Farah into the fresh air and try and get a vlog together because I didn't really get a chance at the weekend. So in the interest of uh, uploading regularly, this is the vlog, Canoe Hill. And I did say in my last one that my next one would probably be from Perthshire. And voila, here we are. So, hmm, hard work this, but um, uh, I'm almost at the top now and we're hopefully gonna get a super view out over the Tay and the uh, Tay Bridge, which I'll send the drone up, not over, but near. And hopefully get some good shots without it flying off into the distance. Touch wood, lots of wood to touch around here. Trees, I mean. Anyway, right, on with the walk. So here we are at the top of Canoe Hill, looking out over the Tay Bridge and the Tay River. There's the Tay River leading off down to Dundee. Yes, I am looking in the right direction, I have to check. And um, yeah, it's a stunning view from up here and it's a really, really lovely afternoon. Um, God knows when I'm gonna take a photograph of, but uh, I'm sure we can find something. Anyway, so it's a brilliant location. I think a time lapse is in order though, because some good movement in the clouds. And uh, Ara, come back. Um, I'm not sure if Ara is aware of how knife edge the drop is just there. It's fairly well straight down. So, um, hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Wanna say hello? Far away, darling, wait. This is what I get often from Farah when she's excited. She wants to see everything. And she's a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, I know. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's enough. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Okay, so I've got my composition. Um, it's, uh, hmm, I don't know. It's different for me, that's for sure. Um, again, such a bright light today. Such bright, sharp sunlight. It's a beautiful day, but I just... Uh, I just don't feel these days when it comes to photography. There's a little bit more movement in the clouds, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, so I'm on, I'm using a 70 to 200 millimeter F4 um, L Canon lens. Um, I am at 200 millimeters and I am using filters in a very unusual way. I've got a grad filter, two grad filters. One's upside down, one's the right way up. So I'm creating sort of, um, 
uh, the idea being a sort of uh, natural vignette um, above and below my focal point, um, which will hopefully, it's going to be quite an artsy sort of image. I'm, I'm really deliberately underexposing it um, so that I'm really just getting the highlights as the clouds leave this dappled light across the fields and the trees. And I, it, it, in the back of the camera, it looks great, <laughs> I think but you just never know. So I am very much exposing to the left. So the shadows are going to be quite pronounced um, and the highlights should shine through. I'm gonna try a couple of different levels of exposure and just see if exposing it more accurately across the board uh, has any effect later on in post, just so that I can get something more to work with. Um, so, and an eighth of a second. There's nice dappled light there just now. On the back of the camera, it doesn't look quite as striking as when I underexpose it. So it might be, I don't know. I'm gonna try a couple of things and hopefully one of these will work. Um, but it's really good when this really strong light hits the fields. You get this really, really strong shadows then from the clouds to the sunlight. Um, and I'm just trying to focus on the landscape without having anything man-made in it. That's tricky too, because we're in central Perthshire here and there's a lot of farms and a lot of um, cottages and a factory down there and the, the main road to um, Dundee's just there and the main bridge to uh, the other south side and then south to, per uh, to Edinburgh. So it's quite a built-up area for the countryside um, along the River Tay. Uh, so if trying to get anything man-made out of the equation is kind of tricky. I quite like this shot. Um, it's really not my sort of shot. I did a, something similar a few years ago during the uh, 365 challenge. Um, and it was always a very popular image with other people. Uh, I liked it as well. Um, so you never know. I'm just gonna snap off a few every time I get a bit more, a bit difference in the light. So it's going to be a 16 by nine crop, almost certainly this one, I would think, because there are buildings off in the far distance over around uh, the, probably Newborough, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, they never appeal to me. But I think we might have our shot. Fingers crossed. Regardless, I've got a nice time lapse panning around from over there. Where are we now? from the bridge all the way around. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Got a nice time lapse anyway. Right, okay. So uh, I'm gonna focus on the shot for a couple more minutes and if I don't get what I want, I'm gonna move on because there's a, a wee castle just along the, the ridge here, which is a, quite a cool feature. Uh, or I may just break my rules and go with um, something man-made and use the bridge and the traffic to my advantage, so we'll see. Anyway, um, hopefully one of these w images work out. Uh, I'll show you the one I like, maybe. Okay, cool, bye.
yeah, so I'm going to hang around for a little bit longer, wait for the sun to come back out possibly, and uh, get a bit more of that dappled light across the landscape. Um, but it's just a fantastic little uh, location. This, it's well photographed, but it's a, it's a good one to photograph. You can see why it's well photographed. Um, I'll give you a bit of perspective here. Yeah, it's great. Really fantastic little spot. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just uh, stay here for a little bit longer and see if we can uh, get a little bit more of. Sorry, this exposure is driving me insane. Sorry about this. It's just impossible, I think. So, sorry about this. I'm going to turn back around. Um, yeah, that's better. A bit of light on the face here. So, just going to stay a little bit longer um, and see if we can get a bit more uh, light on the subject. And uh, hopefully the sun plays ball with me for a little while. But I'm not sure if it's going to. But nonetheless, it's been a great day out. Um, I should probably tell you a little bit about this composition, this, this photograph actually, I haven't really spoken about settings or anything like that. So, uh, I've got a couple of grads on here, just the normal way around this time though, because there's quite a great deal of contrast between the landscape and the sky. Um, so to even out the exposure, I've got the 0.9 soft grad and the 1.2 medium grad on a slight angle, as you can see there in the filter holder. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, and then the polarizer as well, just to take the the sheen off everything just so we can get a bit more detail in the water in the sky off the in the color off the leaves and um, I'm using a six stop ND uh, because I want to run a slightly longer exposure um, so and I'm at f16 and ISO 50 it's giving me 20 seconds um, actually now that I think about it there's probably not much point in that but it doesn't matter because um, there's not much moving at all clouds are pretty still, the uh, leaves are really still, so there's barely any movement. Hopefully there's just enough movement in the clouds just to give us a wee bit of a, the illusion of motion. But, um, yeah, 20 second exposure, and it's nice. It's just, yeah, it's probably, um, probably quite a well photographed uh, composition, but the leading line and the zigzagging of the river off into the distance just to the right of the image, a really nice, nice balance. Yeah, so I'm gonna hopefully get some more uh, light soon because the clouds are moving away and uh, we'll get another shot and then head back down the path. So hopefully you've enjoyed the vlog today. I've done less talking, which is always a good thing, I suppose, but uh, hopefully it's been remotely informative and enjoyable. <laughs> right, okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.